Hi, Eclipse fans. I'm Inge Kelderman. This is Claudia Zegwit. And we are two pilots uh, from Lufthansa Cargo. We are standing in front of the building where we have the briefing where uh, the office is. And we are going uh, to start our uh, tour today to Mumbai, thereafter Hong Kong, then to Novosibirsk in Siberia, and then uh, finally we uh, will return to Frankfurt. Mazal is going to be on an MD-11 from Lufthansa Cargo and uh, it's uh, one of the last planes with three engines. So we're going to bring a little bit of freight to first uh, Mumbai and then this uh, Inge set to Hong Kong and then back uh, via Novosibirsk. And uh, yeah, we're very excited to show you um, our trip and uh, how a cargo life uh, for us pilots is and how it feels like and um, yeah, welcome yeah. on board. Now we are going to the briefing upstairs and thereafter we will go to the plane. Yeah, enjoy the ride. <laughs> we can uh, check in now. So. The flight plan is already here. Are you checked in? Yeah, I already checked in. At least I hope I did. <laughs> Back. Check in. Yes, I checked in already. I did. So, what do you want to fly? Which leg? Um, I think I'd like to start to Mumbai. Mumbai? And then, mm -hmm. Okay, and then from the, the other one, we can just decide. We will see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. So we have 50 Start tons of uh, 50 tons of freight mm -hmm. and 23.44. We will uh, land in Mumbai so we can check the weather. So until 24, 270 with 10 knots, five kilom kilometers. Yeah, that's all so right. And becoming 22 to 24, that's for us. Zero for zero for knots, 3,000. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Weather that's is good. nice, so that's no problem. First alternate is uh, Goa. I think it's a little bit the same, yeah. Just a little bit more windy. Gust 19, but later yeah, on. Yeah, but we'll not our yeah. time. Not later our on, time. it will be really nice. Yeah. Also nice weather Hyderabad is the second alternate. Mm. Also everything okay. Looks good, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Looking good. Then no let's tennis. here in Frankfurt this is zero seven in use. Mm. I saw on my way to Frankfurt. <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> so let's check the no terms. If you see something, just let me know. <laughs> it looks quite okay. Yeah, the taxiways. We will uh, we will see what they uh, say to us. How we will taxi. I didn't see anything for Frankfurt. And Mumbai has. Uh, which departure do you have? Um, Aconi? Aconi, I think it was. Yeah, Aconi, one data. Okay. Zero 07 center. Yeah, we can see in the plane if it uh, also can be 1 8. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Closure of runway 09 and 27. And one four uh, three two re carpeting works. Uh, so from April first uh, to yeah, it's a nine. zero nine to seven is for us. We're always landing on uh, mm -hmm. zero nine to seven. But uh, then it's I think it's too early, right? We're gonna arrive at uh, twelve thirty before midnight. So it's it starts at. Um, past midnight so we should be in Mumbai shortly before that because it's only from midnight to 11 30 right yeah 
so it shouldn't be so hopefully we have no delay any issue yeah <laughs> shouldn't have delay so weather charts goa did you check goa yeah already? that's good Oh, it says the yeah. mm -hmm. Not really important. No. Long distance available, it's okay. And that's it, very short. Hyderabad. Also okay. And Bangalore. Yeah. So, no terms is checked, so weather is checked, weather charts. Weather charts. So, and I would like I to have uh, 500, uh, 500 taxi fuel. Mm -hmm. So, then we have uh, 65, 200. Mm -hmm. 65, 200. So, we have 1600 uh, contingency. And 8.7 remaining. Mm. 14 minutes. 65. Oh, 60 67. I was just about to say 67. Yeah, yeah. okay. 67 we'll take 67 block, block, block 500 taxi. taxi. Yeah. Good. Should I order? Yep. Yep. 60. He still has to bring us the paper version. 500. I'll ask him. That's for the paper extra version. 15 minutes, 1.8 tons. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I send it. I ask him for the paper yeah. version. Hast du schon Papier? Uh, so the slot is on time? The slot is on time, <laughs> yes. <laughs> One six oh two. Ah yeah, okay. comes over there? Yeah, from the printer in the briefing room. Okay, I can take it. Okay, have yes. a nice flight. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget to order fuel. The? Don't forget to order fuel. We already did. Perfect. I think. The co the co pilot did. You have it yeah. in your system? Yeah. Okay. System Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers. Tot ziens. <laughs> Finally sitting. <laughs> <laughs> and then off to the airplane and sit again. Sorry? Off to the airplane and sit again. Yeah, for eight hours. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. How nice. <laughs> sitting like for eight hours. <laughs> so do you have any plans for Mumbai? Eating. That's good. Perfect. Same here. Eating, sleeping. A little sleeping. bit of sports, a little bit of pool. Sounds good. Relax. 34 degrees. No stress. <laughs> no stress. <laughs> so I've a uh, restaurant that we can go to if you want to. So For we the can Indian food. Indian food. Oh, love Indian, Indian food. food. Love Indian food. Uh, you need a reservation. Palak paneer. Um, Palak paneer. Palak paneer. Okay. Oh. I I'm very <laughs> sure they have that. <laughs> so we can just um, <laughs> yeah go there if you want to and have a nice dinner. And then in, I, d I also have plans for Hong Kong. Oh, that's good. Maybe it's uh, because they have a new hotel. Oh but yeah. But oh. maybe um, it's uh, it's nice to go to the island, Hong Kong Island, mm -hmm. and go to uh, Lang Phai Phong. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And eat outside if it's not raining. Yeah, that's good. You never know. You never know. That's true. But most of the time it's nice. No. That's okay. it. Rarely had really <laughs> bad weather. It was always that kind of a 
yeah, hourly thing. Yeah, but if you thing. cannot eat outside, then it's not so nice over there. Yeah, okay. And, and we do have you else. been in a new hotel already? No. No, me neither. Yeah. I was supposed to fly to Hong Kong three weeks ago after Mumbai, the same yeah. rotation. And then the trip was cancelled because of the Chinese New Year or something. So they ah, okay. didn't come and pick us up in Hong Kong, so we just flew home right away from Mumbai. Okay. Yeah. Get head. Get head. Ah, okay. yeah. down, if the flaps are up, if the weather radar is off. So and then I check the alarm for the engine fire test. working <clears throat> then I do the a few checks in the flight management computer if the database is still up to date performance factor do we have 3.9 um, 3.9 yeah. yeah okay so it's okay then we check the fuel. Sixty-seven tons. That was planned. Sixty-seven yeah. tons. Yep. Yeah. And at the same time, the cargo fire test is uh, starting. So I just checked the position where we are. We're at Fox 216. Um, that is the cargo area, uh, and uh, right over there it goes to the uh, northern runway, 07 left, and um, right now I'm, I will start the testing of uh, all the components here in the cockpit. The first one is the light test. I'm just going to test it Over for a couple speed. of seconds until Over the uh, system speed. test starts, Over and speed. it shows in the display that um, the system speed. is being tested Over. and uh, if it doesn't work Over. it will show it as well. I'm going to do the outside check. Okay. So I give you a sign outside, you, outside. you can do the hydraulic test. Perfect. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. So now we are going to do the outside check. Uh, for every flight uh, you do an outside check, checking all the systems and uh, if the airplane is okay from outside. So I will explain you a few things what I'm checking. So everything looks good with the air system test? 
and uh, now I test the flight data cockpit voice recorder and um, thereafter I just check every position of uh, all the knobs and systems um, that everything is pretty much um, working and uh, in the setting that it should be. Emergency light test and uh, seat belt signs, no smoking signs. Or standby. And uh, the rest I cannot test yet because some systems uh, do not work um, before the hydraulics are on. So uh, I need to wait a little bit and then I can uh, test the rest of the components. That's pretty much it from this side. Um, and now I just wait for the uh, sign from Inge, who's going to be uh, doing the outside check, and um, then will show me a hand if nobody's near the flaps, slats, so I can just test the hydraulics. So first we go to the front. Very important, we have the pitots, the, those tubes, and the, those are very uh, important for the airspeed, the altitude, all the indications we have in the cockpit. If it's, uh, this plane has been in, uh, in maintenance for two days, so sometimes they put some uh, things around it that it's not, uh, that there is no dirt in it, and they have to put it off, really, really important. This green dot, that's uh, oxygen available for us. If it's green, then it's okay. If it's red, it's not okay. We cannot go, but it's green. And the pitots, also good. As you can see, they are free. So now I'm going to uh, give the co-pilot a sign if she can do the hydraulic test so nobody uh, uh, there are not supposed to be some trucks or something underneath the, the wings because then uh, something can uh, get damaged. Also the, the tow truck, if it's uh, on the plane already, they have to have a pin in it, in the nose wheel, so it cannot go like this. So now I get the sign from Inge that I can do the hydraulic testing. And um, I'm just going to do the hydraulic pressure test. And uh, all the systems of the hydraulic are being tested right here. And it says hydraulic pressure test and then all the pumps come on one after another. So it just basically checks the systems um, for uh, all the three components of the hydraulic systems. So while that is being tested, um, I will read through the departure route, which is today the Oconee One Delta of runway 07, maybe center, I suppose it's center. We will check about that um, for the clearance. So we have uh, around about 30 minutes left until departure, so I can put it in already and just ask the guys if we can uh, request runway 18 instead, which probably is better because uh, of lesser traffic, but I don't know. So we'll find out from the traffic guys. Now we check the, the nose wheels, if there is no big damage on it, if there is enough relief in it. Uh, we check the lamps, that's okay. And there's a gear pin over here. 
uh, should be taken out because if it's still in, we cannot retract the gear. So that's really a problem. We have to return back to Frank for that. Yeah, it's all okay. So in here we have this uh, handle and you can loosen uh, the nose to put it up for the weather radar if they have to change. It should be locked, it's locked. Also we are uh, looking for hydraulic because then there must be a leak and uh, maintenance has to uh, repair it. Everywhere we look for hydraulic. Now we go to the first engine, actually it's engine number three. If it looks alright, if there are no uh, bird parts in it because of a bird strike, something like that. Looks good. Uh, this is uh, one of the main gears. We have to check the brakes. This is an indication for the brakes, it has to be a few millimeters uh, and then it's okay. So it's we are here also looking for hydraulic because here it's a hydraulic actuator. So normally first it starts here with the hydraulic Looks good. Oh. The navigation lights are not on. She has to turn them on. I cannot check them now. So we have to ask uh, Claudia to turn on the navigation light. Let's go back. Kannst du die Lichter mal einschalten, bitte? Alle? Nee, in der Ableit. So. Ich muss sie checken. So, navigation slides are on now, so we can check. Normally you always do the same round, so you don't forget anything to check. So now you can see the navigation lights are on, we need to green and here we need to white. And it's checked. Now we have a nice look for the whole airplane, you can see if the stabilizer is right, the stripes has to be in front of each other, so that's good. Yeah. <coughs> So this is the lower cargo door, it's closed already. As you can see, the loading is uh, finished. This is the center gear. Here are also the brakes indication, so they are really good. Um, sometimes uh, you see it here, it's a little bit of sweating. This is the hydraulic that we are looking for, but this is just a little bit sweating, that's normal. Checking the tires. So everywhere looking for hydraulic. And I always feel this because if the airplane makes a tail strike that um, the nose is too far up at uh, departure or landing, then this is the first thing to touch the ground. So if that's smooth, it didn't have a tail strike.
gear the brakes again. But this tire is a little bit more warm, but it's still okay. Brakes okay, tires okay, no hydraulic. Now you have to watch the backside of the engine. It's all good. So now the IS is aligned and I can do the rest of the testing. Flight slow. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain. Glide slow. Too low. Terrain. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Obstacle ahead. Obstacle ahead. Obstacle ahead. Pull up. The test is completed and the next test is the weather radar. <coughs> so all the systems are being monitor tested. Monitor radar display. And it says Go monitor around. radar Wind display. Wind shear ahead. Wind shear so ahead. So we check here and see that everything works. And then we check the TCAS. The traffic collision avoidance system. And see but it works quite well as well. It shows below and above and blue, red and yellow, depending on how serious the traffic okay. is. So that seems to work as well. And now I test the second weather radar, if that one works as well. Monitor radar display. Go around, wind shear ahead. Wind shear ahead, wind shear ahead. Oh, those are the uh, static discharges, so you check them also. Two lights, two, two red lights, that's the left side, everything good. Those are the uh, static ports for uh, air pressure, also very uh, important for uh, some indications in the cockpit. Also good. This is the outflow valve. Yeah, you can uh, not check very much, but this is the valve uh, for the air inside and outside to regulate. Oh, the airplane looks good. We can go. So, let's do the finals and then we can go. So I'm going to sign the technical logbook that uh, the aircraft is okay for the flights. One copy for the maintenance.
So now we check the load sheet, it's very important, it's all the weight and how it's uh, in the plane, divided in the plane. Bitte schön. Wollt ihr noch Kaffee? Könnt ihr gerne nehmen, ja? Kaffee haben wir noch, vielen Dank. Okay. Wenn fertig, wir verlieren uns zusammen. Zusammen, okay. Wir haben Slot. Vielen Dank. Ja, wir gehen dann on time, ja. So now I'm checking the flight plan in the flight management computer. There you go. <laughs> Auxiliary power unit is starting now, so we can uh, take some air from the uh, APU also for the engine start later on. So done. We can uh, do the cockpit checklist, please. Cockpit checklist. Uh, if I can get it out here. <laughs> cockpit gear pins removed. P toe static checked. Cabin signs on. FCP for one seven eight runway one eight set. Speed band. Uh, we uh, have to do that. Nicht. Figures stand yeah. by. So ready to copy. Ready to copy. So if you wait. Uh, 165.8 166 tons was planned Take off 232.3 Yeah Trip fuel 54334 54334 is checked So fuel HG 18.6 18.7 was planned and 22.2 .2 is planned. Takeoff CG 22.2 .2 was planned and is actual. So, the speeds. Oh. I planned for 18 November South. Uh, runway 18 November South. Dry QNH 1005. Uh, take one, 1004, please. 1004. And uh, what was the temperature? 25 on the ATIS. I took 26, now it's 27. So uh, let's take 27. Yep. And the wind? Light variable it comes from the east, uh, 070 and um, 17 knots. Runway 18090010 gusting 21. So that's 90 degrees light off. I put light okay. and variable, yeah. Then we have uh, Gosset uh, uh, 233. Yeah, put that in. Flex and optimum. I have 384 plus 2. I do too. Speeds 155, 169, and 174. Yeah, uh, the same. Okay, so put it in. Yeah. Flex 60, flaps 10. V1 is 155. That's correct. We rotate 169. One more. And uh, V2 is 174. Also one knot more. And we climb with 257. Thank you. That's yep. it. Okay, cockpit checklist continued. Cockpit checklist, speed band. A taxi 155169174. Taxi 155169174. Altimeters. Uh, 1005, 380 feet. 1005, 370 feet. Fuel. 66,800 kilograms. 66,800 kilograms, SD status. Checked. System modes auto, take off data. Runway 18. Inserted. Inserted. Auto brake takeoff. Takeoff warning checked. Flap takeoff selectors 10. Cockpit checklist completed. So. Uh, I already got the clearance. Um, so, as we thought, it will be the runway 18. Yeah. Okay, you can do a briefing if you want. Yeah. So, put in runway 18. Um, the track is 178. 
Yeah. And we have 9.3% to 2,500 feet, which uh, is around about 2,000 feet per minute uh, climb rate. So we set the acceleration altitude to 2,500 feet. Yeah. So we're on the safe side. And uh, notes say 1, 3, 4, and 5. 1, the climb gradient is uh, due to air airspace structure. If unable to comply, advise delivery prior to startup. If is isn't able. Yeah. Two, after Amtex Biana, f oh, no, uh, three, the note was three. Um, after crossing Radio 200, Fox Fox Mike, be enough equipment necessary. Yeah, we have. We also have that. Close in obstacles and do not turn before departure end of runway. Yeah. Departure frequency is 136130. I set that on the third VHF here. Um, and it's when advised by tower contact Lang radar. Yes. Routing for runway 18 is at minimum 800 feet or 12 miles read. Radio 223, Fox Fox Mike, whichever is later left turn with the maximum speed of 220 feet. Knots, yes. Uh, 20 knots. <laughs> 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 feet wouldn't work. Um, 118 degrees to Amtex. And then left turn 102 degrees to Akoni. The FMS points are runway 18, uh, 800 and above. Delta Fox 158, 220 knots. And Delta Fox 159 are above 2,500 feet. Amtex Akoni are checked. According FMS, NAF and PROF mode. And the initial climb altitude is 4,000 feet. Yes, it's set. Then uh, MSA in Frankfurt is... Uh, 3,500 feet, so in case of engine failure, we have a fixed fra X uh, 3, 25 miles straight ahead, climb 4,000, and then we can decide what we do. Yeah. Return, maybe with the right turn, because runway 07 is in use, and then just... Transition altitude is 5,000 feet. Yeah. Then, um, reject rejected takeoff briefing. We have uh, 386 meters stop margin, uh, inclusive this uh, TAS effect. Um, I plan to uh, continue till the go call, uh, to stop till the go call for now to 1.45 for all uh, master cautions in front of us. Okay. And all mandatory items, uh, we have a dry runway and no mail items okay. for us. So 145, yeah. Perfect. Then um, request uh, pushback. Okay. 121905. Delivery Hello, Lufthansa Cargo 8370 uh, Heavy. Uh, we're Fox 216. Request push and start. Cargo 8370, via SID climb altitude 5,000 feet today to reach within 1-4 miles to keep on the runway. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, uh, 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 today climbing 5,000 feet to reach at 1-4 miles of departure and end of runway. Cargo 8370, correct, start approved, 121755 for push, bye-bye. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, start approved, 121755 uh, for push, thank you, bye. No, request pushback. Okay. Request pushback. Thank you. On to Lufthansa Cargo 8370 Heavy, position Fox 216, request pushback. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, pushback approved. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, pushback approved. Leave start checklist. Before start, cabin. Secured. <laughs> Mobile. Off. Off, engine ignition, A, beacon, on, system modes auto, parking brake. Parking brake is released. Before such check is completed. Front from cockpit. So, um, we are ready for pushback, ready for engine start of block 55.
So I was set, a, set up a distance uh, from uh, departure end of runway. Oh yeah, you um, can do that. So we do not turn before that. Hmm? I thought we have to do we have to have f uh, five thousand feet there. Yeah, and five thousand feet before, right? Five thousand feet, not before. Oh, we need to have five thousand feet at one four miles past the the departure end of runway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I I set the point that we reach five thousand feet yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. So I find a point of the departure end of runway. It's probably almost impossible. Go ahead. Starting three on two. Ready for engine start? Ready. Engine number three starts. Cargo dot test. Engine number one starts. Park and brake set, please remove towing system and stern pin and standby. Engine number two starts. After start items and after start checklist. After start, APU off, anti is all off, system modes auto after start checklist completed. And, uh, I'll send him away. So the engines are running, so please give me a hand signal. I think left hand side. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, uh, Cargo 8370, taxi via November and uh, Take items. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, uh, send by, uh, we didn't call in. Okay, then uh, who was calling in? It was German Cargo 108, sorry.
Flight control check. When ready. Radar. Take off checklist. Take off flight controls. Checked. Checked flaps. Then. Ten spoilers armed. Trim 7.0 nose up 0, zero EAD. Checked. Checked. Take off checklist completed. So I take the run. Or uh, do you want to run? On the display. Weather or terrain? Oh, um, I take the weather. Yeah. Okay. You take terrain. And now lift at the cargo 8370, heavy request taxi. Cargo 8370, then now via November, runway 18. Lift at the cargo 8370, via November, runway 18. Right side clear. Left side clear. Signal was there, was there. Off we go. I put the ATIS here. Yeah. So I wanted to set a fix, Fox Fox Mike. Um, I just put Fox Fox Mike. And then on uh, Nafrat, it's on uh, Naf One. Yeah. So we can just see yeah. when we reach 14 miles, then That's we have okay. to be at 5,000 feet. No, it's the error logic, the other one. Let's make our way at 370, contact tower on 124855. 124855, lift of the cargo at 370, choose. Tower, more in lift of the cargo at 370, heavy, uh, ready for departure in November. Cargo 370, hello November, line up 18, number 24 departure. Lift of the cargo at 370, uh, runway 18, line up and wait number 2. Right side clear. <laughs> the other one has departed already. Lineup clearance we have, departure clearance to go. Yeah. I'm out of flight, please. Out of flight is armed. I think that one is uh, going to land and thereafter we are yeah. cleared, I think. So the wind is coming a little bit from the left, like it said on the ATIS. Yeah. Left on the cargo 8370, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Ready? Ready. You have control? I have control. Takeoff. Ready? Ready. You have control? Takeoff. Taking off. Ready? Ready. 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 Checked. Go. 
go. Rotates. Gear up. Gear up. Contact 136, 130, Lufthansa Cargo, A370 What? 2500 we have Radar Lufthansa Cargo, A370 heavy passing 2700, climbing 5000 Cargo 8370, hello, climb flight level 110. Cargo 8370, climbing flight level 110. Flaps retract. Flaps retract. Forty miles, uh, five thousand, no problem. Perfect. Transition. Standard flight level 5-3. Standard flight level 5-3. One two five six eight zero left on Chicago eight three seven zero two. Red Alert left on Chicago eight three seven zero heavy passing fly level seven five climbing fly level one one zero. Left on Chicago eight three seven zero identify to look at level one seven zero proceed direct number. Climbing fly level one seven zero direct number left on Chicago eight three seven zero junction. One seven zero number. Nice day for a little bit of flying, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so glad you rented an ND eleven yeah. today. <laughs> Just for a few hours, <laughs> <laughs> about nine. <laughs> for a short trip to Mumbai. <laughs> and it's beautiful and green. Yeah. It's actually also great weather to stay, huh? Sorry? <laughs> it's actually also great weather to stay here. To stay to here, stay yeah, in Germany. but I don't want to return. No, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> no, let's not, please. <laughs> Clear enough for fix and fuel in it, page. Kevin signs auto. Runway turn off, lights off. Cargo 8370, Kleinfahrt Level 240. 
Tanskaga E3 zijn ze klemming vlijlen voor toe voor zero. En de Rankeda 1656, question. Let's go. Any chance maybe to negotiate the next sector by direct to figure today? Yeah, but look out of your window, straight ahead, there's crossing traffic right <laughs> left for us and Airbus 3 to 1. I think you want to wait a little bit. Oh. Okay, so wait a bit, thanks. Uh, can I want to see that? If you look out of your window. <laughs> Why can I climb higher? Mm, that's gonna be loud. <laughs> Pilot on. Yeah, in the cockpit we are uh, on our way for about three and a half hours. Uh, at the moment uh, we are in the Baghdad FIR and uh, we have had some uh, dinner already so now we have some time to explain something about this flight to Mumbai. The flight plan uh, the preparations we, we did during the briefing, um, we have to decide how much fuel we uh, we want to take. 
and it depends on a lot of things for example how much load we have in this flight we have about 50 tons of load and um, takeoff weight was uh, about uh, 230 tons we decided to take some extra fuel for India so we had uh, before the start we had 67 tons of um, fuel and 500 for there was uh, for the taxiing uh, the routing is all programmed in the, in the FMS so uh, uh, the autopilot will fly this routing if we don't change it um, we had a slot time uh, slot time means uh, that you have uh, 50 minutes of time in which you have to start so slot time was 16.02 then you can start uh, from 15.57 till uh, 16.12 our takeoff time was 1608, so that's in the slot. So, our today's route, um, I just cross checked it, um, but the flight plan, um, we're now in the FIR Baghdad, which Inge just said, and then we continue um, to Oman, and then uh, thereafter, we're already in the FIR of Mumbai, which is already our final destination. So, um, we're actually quite a long way over water um, for the rest of the flight uh, past this, uh, the Arabian Peninsula. And uh, today's flight is going to take up uh, 54 tons of fuel for a flight time off. Did you say that? No, uh, seven, uh, 742. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so, just for um, yeah, the people who are interested in it, uh, the MD-11 consumes 7.2 tons of fuel an hour, which is 120 kilograms a minute, which is uh, quite some fuel. And um, when we land in uh, Mumbai, we're probably going to have about uh, 12 tons remaining fuel, which is for all different kinds of uh, situations, like we have to fly to a different airport, we have to enter a holding, um, maybe there's an airport or runway closure. Or maybe we have to do a go around, you never know. A go around, exactly. So you have to do an extra round. So we have some extra for reserve. We just checked the weather in Mumbai, and it's still very nice when we will arrive the wind is uh, 0604 knots and it's a little bit uh, hazy so we have 2500 meters uh, uh, visibility and a few clouds in 2000 feet that's uh, for Mumbai that's very nice weather uh, the next month it will be not as nice as now because then you have the muson over there so a lot of rain we are at um, altitude of 35,000 feet, it's flight level 350 and later on when uh, uh, when we have lost some weight because of the kerosene we are burning uh, maybe we can go flight level 370 because uh, the higher you can go it depends on, on the weight um, the cheaper it is to fly the, the fuel burning will uh, will be less so we always try to fly as high as possible. So now it's a flight level 350. So I think in about one hour we can go uh, flight level 370. But we have to see. We can check if it's better or not. The velocity is uh, in uh, Mach number. We are Normally we are flying Mach point A2. And that's also the case now. So it's uh, Mach point A2.2. And right now we have a little bit of uh, crosswind, um, well, a little bit of uh, 111 knots uh, from uh, the west, so um, we're a little bit faster 
Uh, the ground speed is uh, 532 knots. So that helps us getting to Mumbai faster. And um, in this way, we're going to be there just in time, uh, just because the average r wind is not so much. Um, it's only plus 40 knots. So um, yeah, we see what we can do if we maybe get a shortcut or we already got some shortcuts so we already caught up three minutes of flight time. So giving our best to get there as soon as possible. But it still takes four hours. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it still takes four hours, plus minus five minutes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you wanted to fly, when you knew you wanted to be a pilot? That's a good question. I <laughs> have to calculate that. Uh, that was uh, 1998. So I was 21. Oh, that age. Yeah, but it age. was not your dream always. No, no, a kid. no. I was studying beforehand and uh, actually never thought about flying because um, back in the day I was afraid of flying. Oh. Uh, I only flew four to five times, like before I kind of get the uh, feeling that that might be my next job. Um, so yeah, I didn't even really know the uh, the sounds the aircrafts made, and I felt uncomfortable being in the back seat and you know not knowing what they were doing. And so uh, when my roommate back in the day wanted to become a flight attendant, she asked me to try out first like what kind of questions would arise, so she would be prepared because her English wasn't good enough. <laughs> so then she sent me, and um, well make a long story short, they hired me, didn't hire her. <laughs> and yes, we're still friends. <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, that's how I first became a flight attendant, um, flying long haul. And then the company uh, discontinued the service and um, I uh, sent my application to the Deutsche BA, which uh, used to be the German British Airways. Mm -hmm. And um, they hired me and I was a flight attendant there too. Short haul, four times, you know, 136 passengers up and down doing the service. And um, so I actually wanted to quit and go back to studying. I studied politics and uh, then my dad said, why don't you become a pilot? Wouldn't that be something for you? Because you like flying and, you know, maybe it's not flight attendant, maybe it's piloting the, the aircraft. And I'm like, oh, okay, never thought about it. So, um, and it was the right decision. Yeah, I actually, yeah, it really was. Um, I decided to stay with the uh, uh, Deutsche BA and uh, do it next to um, being a flight attendant. And but uh, that's also a hard time then. That was a hard time, yeah, yeah. So I did the early shifts, and then later on during the day, I was Studying. flying tiny planes, and then in the afternoon, I took the um, the courses. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, there wasn't wasn't enough sleep back in the day, and uh, you know, <laughs> I kind of managed. And um, so I called up the flight school, and they said, "So, have you flown small airplanes before?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you you want to be a pilot? And I said, "Yeah." Okay. So they put me in a small aircraft, uh, Katana DA20. And I remember that day, like it was yesterday, um, they put me on board and there was a nice old guy, like 70, around 75. And he explained everything to me. And uh, then uh, he ended over the wheels and just said, hey, you have control. And I couldn't stop smiling for like three days. And I was like, yep, that's it. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's so much fun, amazing. And that's how it all started. I did my ATP and um, Became a pilot. And now you're here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. A couple of years later. <laughs> oh. How about you? You always wanted to be a pilot? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was 17 years old. And I was in school and uh, I didn't know what to study or what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And then they organized um, uh, one evening in the school with uh, 
a few professions, mm -hmm. different uh, professions, you could hear three of them. Okay. So you got a list and you could take three you wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. And one of those was a uh, uh, KLM uh, captain. I'm from Holland, so mm -hmm. uh, I did, uh, at the end I did the KLM Academy. But wow. there was a KLM uh, uh, captain and he was working for 25 years for KLM. He was Captain 747 at that time. And he was um, explaining everything and he was after 25 years still so enthusiastic that I oh. thought it uh, <laughs> must be really good. Okay. I hadn't been flying before. Okay. Never. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, I'm going to do those tests for KLM. Well, that's uh, that must be a good job. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then be still happy after 25 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and now Absolutely. I know why. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but um, uh, one man I knew, I told him about this story, and he said, I have a friend, and he has his own small plane. Mm -hmm. So I will arrange that you can fly with him. So if it's not your thing, you can decide not to go. Okay. Or maybe you decide you want it. Okay. So I will so arrange a that. flight for you with a uh, Cessna. Okay. And <laughs> then you can <laughs> tell. <laughs> so then I my first flight was from uh, Geelsreye okay. to Antwerpen in, in Belgium. Nice. And I was also flying myself. He said also, you have control. <laughs> So Just it was so nice. Happiness, pure yeah. happiness. Yeah. yeah. So that's the uh, point I really wanted to fly, but it took a little bit. Okay. Because the first time um, I didn't make the last test mm -hmm. for the KLM Flight Academy. Okay. And then I thought, okay, maybe it's not my thing. Okay. And I went studying tourism mm -hmm. for four years. Okay. Uh, hotel management. So I uh, ended this study. So I. Um, after four years, mm -hmm. um, and then I still wanted to fly. Oh, but mm -hmm. I also did not go away. Sorry, okay. did not go away. No, no it did not. It did not go away. So okay. um, I still want to fly, and then I have, have been flying a little bit more, mm -hmm. also uh, for vacation. No, I still want to fly. So then, I didn't want my my parents to uh, have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So and the KLM, they said uh, you only can try once. So uh, I couldn't try KLM. So then I thought maybe I can go uh, in the Air Force. In okay. Holland. So I tried the Air Force. Wow. And then I passed all the tests. So I started in the Air Force. You started in the Air Force? Yeah. What kind of plane did you fly? No, I didn't fly. Oh, you didn't because fly? Because first okay. you have to do this, uh, this uh, officer uh, education. Mm -hmm. And it takes uh, it's a, a shorter one, so it takes four and a half uh, months mm -hmm. to do the yeah the um, Air Force Academy, mm -hmm. and then you're an officer, and then you can start the flying. Okay. You have to be officer. Okay. And in those yeah, after two months, um, <laughs> I knew it was not my thing <laughs> in the Air Force. The Air Force thing was not mm -hmm. my thing. <laughs> I think I wasn't happy, so. Um, I had this conversation with one of the people over there. They had seen it already. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they said, we think you you can fly a plane, but this is not the right place for you. Okay. Which is and fair. And, uh, yeah, I had to say, I, w I, uh, I agreed. Mm. So they said, try again, KLM, mm -hmm. because this te these tests for the Air Force are a little bit uh, more difficult. Mm -hmm. So, and the uh, simulation, it's the same. Okay. Because they do it with us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can make a call and uh, tr uh, ask if you can try again. Mm -hmm. And I did. Okay. And then I could do all the tests again, the third time. Okay, And nice. then I passed, and then I did a KLM Flight Academy. So, yeah, then I finished my KLM Flight Academy, and KLM didn't have a job. But we that had was when? Mm -hmm. What year was it? There was uh, 1999. Okay, yeah. yeah. So then um, a few other 
uh, students, they uh, found out that Lufthansa needed a lot of co-pilots. Okay. And because the, the academies of Lufthansa and KLM, they mm -hmm. are very similar mm -hmm. and they are working to were working together. Mm -hmm. So uh, we tried with Lufthansa and then they said, okay, we have to do all the tests I guess. <laughs> again <laughs> for time. <laughs> and if we pass, we can start. We have to do six weeks of uh, um, theory in Bremen mm -hmm. in, the, in the Lufthansa school. Mm -hmm. And then we can start. Okay. So, so you did uh, that, and then I did five years uh, passenger flights A320 for Lufthansa. Mm -hmm. And after five years, uh, I wanted a change, oh. and then <laughs> I tried the cargo flight, which was a very uh, good choice <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, so uh, I uh, actually. Um, it's the it's the best choice I ever made because I'm flying here for 13 years now for cargo and it's still you still like the best it. job but you I can imagine for five me. more years to go so you fly sorry you fly for 20 years you have five more years until you reach 25 years and, and you should still be happy like yeah. the captain yeah right yeah so I, I think I will <laughs> make it <laughs> I <think> so, too. <laughs> so that's a little bit my story <laughs> Okay. Well, I agree. Um, cargo has just happened to me by coincidence. Um, I wanted to have a change too. I flew uh, for Cityline before, the Canada jet. And um, I was based in Berlin and then the Berlin base was closed. And uh, so wow. I always had to um, shuttle. shuttle to uh, Frankfurt or Munich. I think it was more Munich than Frankfurt. And then uh, I had part time and uh, they didn't grant it for the year to come because they needed so many pilots that I thought if I have to fly full time and out of Frankfurt, I might as well just fly long haul. And uh, that's how I applied for cargo and um, went pretty much within three weeks. So they called me and I said yes. And then uh, three weeks later, I was in the course. And uh, same with you, like I never regretted it. It was the best choice I ever made. Like being like just two in the cockpit having a complete relaxed trip yeah. you, you can, can concentrate on the flying yeah you can just um on the plane on the plane i'm really happy i chose cargo and um, yeah me too it's really my thing and then after five years of co-piloting at m11 i had the chance to go to the left yeah so that Perfect. was even better even better, you Even knew the plane. <laughs> now we go to Mumbai. Now we go to Mumbai and Hong Kong. Which and is Hong nice Kong, too. and um, That's true. we can go for Indian food. Yummy in Indian Mumbai. food. That's also very good. Hmm? That's also very yeah, good. Yeah, that's also Indian very food. good. You're right. That's true. So you have to see mm. the pros of everything. So the that's now the food <laughs> and the weather. It's also the very weather nice. is great. Yeah. The weather, it's like 20, it still was 28 degrees, right? Yeah. Yep, 28 degrees. And it's already past midnight, so it's probably going to be a very, very warm day tomorrow. Over there, you mean? Yeah. Hmm? Over there, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but and, yeah I and I've seen, um, we have, after this flight, we have two day flights. To Hong Kong and to Novosibirsk. Yeah. Very nice. That's true. Just yeah. the last one, that's a mm, night flight. Mm. Four o'clock, local time. Four local, okay. So, okay. I've checked already. Otherwise, it's all daytime? Hmm? Daytime flying? All at uh, daytime? All the, the rest is daytime. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So, tomorrow we can see Hong Kong. Hmm? What time are we going to land in Hong Kong? Do you know? 1835? 1930, 1840. 1840, so it's still gonna be light. Hmm? It's still gonna be daytime, that's nice. Yeah. And, and then, then we go we for dinner. At, uh, noon. No, we land uh, 1935. at 1935. Uh, yeah. 1935. Oh, that's good. So Perfect. we still can have dinner. Yeah. Dinner. Everything nice. <laughs> Yeah. 
on the way we make some fuel checks um, and then we can see if we uh, gain or lose uh, some time and um, also the fuel if we don't have a fuel leak if it's all going uh, normal years ago we also had this round uh, Bahrain Singapore Delhi oh, I had that once all day flights mm. It's really mm -hmm. nice. And 48 hours off in Bahrain or Singapore. That was nice. It's really uh, nice. Also gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also gone. Yeah. Four days layover Singapore, also gone. <laughs> yeah. Did you have that once? That was really yeah, four really days nice. Singapore. Four days no, Singapore. I had two. Yeah, and or Bangkok. Three. Did mm. you do the wakeboarding over there on the 360 <laughs> cable? Did you? No, I didn't. Sansa Cargo 8370 Mumbai Radar descend to flight level 250, lead level now, expired passing flight level 290. So, runway 27, dry. Yeah, I'm ready for briefing. Yep. How many cabin signs on? The cabin signs on, uh, TCAS is below. below. Wing runway turn off lights on. And uh, yeah, and windshield uh, on. Ready for briefing. Just a second. Okay. The landing distance here calculator is one thousand eight hundred sixty-three. Okay, November 8th. I think we should uh, go a little bit faster. Y yeah. Expediting till out of 290. Expediting. Yeah, we're over water. We're pretty safe here. Um, 2,000 feet. And then later the MSA is 3,800. Yeah, it's outside 10 miles, no? Yeah. Uh, 12. 12 miles. 12 miles and otherwise it's uh, 2 8. Otherwise then within the 12 miles it's 2 8. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's sufficient. And uh, we arrive via the KTOR, one alpha arrival. And uh, we need to have 200 speed of 250 and above 12,000 feet at KTOR. And then I'll uh, ask him for the uh, Keto one off arrival because he didn't say. Oh, he didn't say that? Okay. Yeah. And Lufthansa Cargo A370 confirm Keto one off arrival for us? Yeah, for ma'am. Lufthansa Cargo A370, Keto one off runway 27. Runway 27, Keto one off arrival. Thank you, Lufthansa Cargo A270. Yeah. Okay, passing flight over 290.
and Keta one alpha is affirmed confirmed so Keta one alpha means that Mike Bravo three nine are four a speed of 210 and 10,000 feet yeah I checked it I checked it all perfect and then in a left turn and then for runway two seven yeah uh, let's, uh, I took Yankee to seven. You have Zulu, okay. Uh, Zulu, yes. Just because of the arc, it's probably easier for the. We are not flying the arc. No, no, no. We get the um, arrival. Probably with radar vectors, huh? I think so. Yes. Yeah. So I put in the FMS, uh, the manual from the arrival, and then uh, this descent point. Two thousand. 2000. So I'll Zulu 27, India Sierra Charlie Zulu. I saw it's pre selected on the NAV page. Um, final track is 270. Yes. And out of uh, 2900, which is 9.1 DME from the runway, we start the descent. And. Uh, 9.1 from the India Sierra Charlie ILS Zulu me, ILS, yeah. yep. Um, with three degree de glide. So, Rasna Cargo 8370 on the Mike Bravo. Rasna Cargo 8370, contact now 133 decimal 425. 122425, Lufthansa Cargo 8370, bye bye. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, descending fly level 150, staying on your frequency. Hey, fam, maintain this frequency, ma'am. Maintaining your frequency, Lufthansa Cargo 8370, descending fly level 150. Copy. <laughs> yeah, which is also the final altitude check, 2900. There's, uh, yeah. The next one will be the minimum of 230. Yeah. It's both selected. And. Um, then we land on a runway which has a displaced threshold of 483 meters and still 2,965 meters long and 60 meters wide. Poppy is left and there's a slight uh, downslope. In the case of uh, missed approach, we just go straight ahead at minimum 700 feet with a left turn, heading of uh, 230. And then uh, minimum 2,600, again a left turn back to the VOR, bravo, 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 which is set on. Yeah. Enough one. Then we climb to 3,800 and do not turn before threshold. So 3,800 is... Uh 3,800 is the missed approach altitude. Yeah. Yes. Transition level is 5.5, five. I read on the ATIS. Weather is good. Uh, transition level is 5.5. Uh, five. Oh, 5.5, five, five, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And we expect a QNH of 1008. Yeah. Yeah. Enough setup is uh, set. Auto brake minimum. Flaps 35, and uh, we have a weight of uh, roughly 180 tons. So that means um, 62%. Round I think a little bit more because of the temperature. Three. It's 22, right? 20. Oh no, it's still 27. I thought it was 22. Yeah, then a little bit more. Maybe around about 24, uh, 64. Yeah. The brake, around about 20, 30. Lufthansa Cargo 837, direct to Mike Bravo 394. Direct Bravo, Mike Bravo 394, Lufthansa Cargo 837. That means it goes a little bit faster. Oh yeah. yeah, still has 60, 70 miles now, it's yeah. okay. 
that's okay. Um, and I did reverse, and I'm just gonna pull it open once and then close it right away, just to have the habit. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, contact now 1279. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, 127, bye bye. On my control, uh, good evening, Lufthansa Cargo 8370, heavy passing flight 195, descending flight level 150, information alpha. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, heavy descent to flight level 901, restricted. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, descending flight level 90, unrestricted. Okay, um, please delete the restriction out of Mike Bravo 3904. Could you please let the uh, auto brake in it as long as possible? Yeah. Because I do of that. the tire temperature, yeah. the Too brake hot. temperature. Yeah. yeah, I do that. Yeah, then let's try. Lufthansa <laughs> 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 Cargo 8370, turn left heading 060, vector file is 27. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, left heading 060 for radar vectoring for uh, meter 7. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, high speed approved, no delay. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, high speed approved. Very unusable for Mumbai. Yeah, I had it last time too. Straight in, didn't need extra fuel, nothing. Okay. Yeah. For me, it's a long time ago, but I don't know it like this. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. It's like, wow. But maybe it's it another, another time that we are scheduled now. Maybe, yeah. Last time it was the same, two hours earlier. No. Same, same, straight in. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, descend to 3800 feet, QNH 1008. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, descending 2800 feet, QNH 1008. Approach checklist. Approach system modes. Auto. Altimeters. 1008, 8,800, approach checklist completed. And the weather is so nice. Perfect, huh? Perfect visibility. So it's time to turn off the autopilot, huh? Are you awake? Yep. Okay, <laughs> autopilot off. Autopilot. Many a thrust. FMS speed. FMS speed selected. Vertical speed 1000. Vertical speed uh, minus 1000. 2000. 2000. Weather radar goes up a little bit. 1000. 1000. I'll take the ram. I'll take the ram. Okay. I still have no identifier, but 110.3 one is correct. Yeah, for me the same. Okay. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, speed minimum clean and maintain 3800 speed. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, speed minimum clean and uh, 3800 feet maintaining. And minimum clean is 215 today, Lufthansa Cargo 8370. Right. Yeah, 3,800 is also the sector altitude. <coughs> yep. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, turn left heading 360, speed 180 knots. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, uh, left heading, say again? 360. 
Left heading 360, speed 180 knots. Left heading 370, descent to 2900 feet, turn left heading 320, cleared fire explosion with 27. Left heading 8370, descent 2900 feet, left heading 320, and cleared for the ILS Zulu uh, runway 27. Uh, left heading 8370, descent to 2900 feet, left heading 320, and cleared for the ILS Zulu uh, runway 27. Uh, the ILS is identified. Yeah, India Sierra Charlie Zulu, identified. Approach land arm. Approach arms. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. I turn a little bit left. Turn a little bit left so the intercept is not too big. Localizer alive. Runway track 270. Runway straight ahead. Light slope captured. Do you have it inside? Not yet. Yeah, inside. 2500. Flaps 28. Flaps 28. Lufthansa Cargo uh, A370 stabilized. Uh, Isla Sulu 27. Alright, Lufthansa Cargo 8370, 8 miles from touchdown, speed 160 knots. Contact tower 118 decimal 1. Good day. 118, the small uh, one speed, 160 Lufthansa cargo, 8370, bye bye. Now you can reduce final approach speed. Yep. Tower good, uh, Lufthansa cargo, 8370, IV on the uh, Isla Sulu, runway 27. Lufthansa Get cargo, 8370, wind variable 04 north, runway 27, continue approach. Lufthansa cargo, 8370, continue. Lap 35. Lap 35. 3800 for the missed approach. 3800. And landing checklist. Landing gear. Down for green. Down for green. Outer brake minimum. Spoilers armed. Flaps. 35. 35 ED. Checked. Check landing checklist completed. Uh, clearance to go. Okay. Man is doing takeoff now. He's rolling. Checked. Checked. Runway straight ahead inside. Back to late clearance. 
Roger. Los Angeles, Chicago, 8370, available 04 North, runway 27, clear to land. Los Angeles, Chicago, 8370, runway 27, clear to land. 400. 300. Wind from the right, with about 5 knots. Continue. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Spoilers deployed. I have control. You have control. Auto brake design. Manual on. brakes. Okay, November 1 0. So, 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 cargo A3, so, so, back it to a number 10 for the right turn number. Lufthansa Cargo A370, right turn November 1 0. Light goes off. After landings, mid uh, with the AP. Lufthansa Cargo A370, turn right, continue taxi by November, contact beyond 129. Lufthansa Cargo A370, uh, right turn November, contact round 1219. Bye. Round number zero, Lufthansa Cargo A370, heavy uh, runway vacated, uh, turning right into November. Lufthansa A370, heavy ground, taxi right on November, whiskey 4, full sort of runway 14. Lufthansa Cargo A370, continue November, whiskey 4, hold short runway 14. Yeah, we didn't make it uh, to no no November 8th, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Probably max. I really had to break, break for the November 1 0. Yeah. Did you talk to us? No. Okay. <laughs> talk to them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> talk to my hand, baby. <laughs> Engine one off. Uh, fuse switch number one confirmed. Number, number one confirmed. Off. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, cross runway 14, Echo 5, Papa, hold short of hotel. Lufthansa Cargo 8370, crossing 14, approved, Echo 5, Papa, hold short hotel. Echo 5 is uh, Papa. just the Whiskey yeah. 4 after the runway. Straight ahead. Straight ahead, Papa. And hold short hotel. It's Ho the yeah. second taxiway yeah. to the I right. See, thank you. Runway 14, we're clear to cross. Right Left side clear. Left is clear. Normally parking position on the left side, no? Golf one two five. Yeah, so that's on the left side for yeah. the one. So this is not hotel, this is Echo. This is Echo and the next one is hotel. Yeah. And then we park next to Qatar. Yeah. Left side's clear.
slow down. Buck brake set. Freeze gun. Maybe you take so long to stop. I have to uh, tell them you're on the position. Yeah. Left hand cargo 8370 is at the position go at 4. Left hand cargo 8370, Roger. Good night. Good night. Hello? Good morning, Captain. All chocks in position. You may release your parking brake. Parking brake is released and uh, aircraft is okay. Thank you, Captain. Parking checklist. We have a flat. That's great. Um, parking, exterior lights, NAF logo on, anti ice, all off. Step trim, three degrees nose up, SD status. Okay, checked. Uh, system outs, auto, spoilers retract, flaps, let's up, retract, fuel, no, well. Handles up, retract, and flaps, uh, yeah. turn. Um, fuel switches off, parking brake. Released. Weather radar off, ATC transponder, standby, APU air. Uh, put it on. Parking checklist completed. Okay. Yep. That's all folks for today. We're in Mumbai now. We have a 24 hour stay here and then we will go further to Hong Kong. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, we see you on our next trip to Hong Kong. Good night.